am home from work. I'm actually home later than usual, much later than usual because uh, at work we um, like to give away gifts for the holidays. So I was given away gifts between five and seven. So I had to do that. I am not wearing a very exciting outfit today and I actually just spilled some miso soup on my pant leg. Do I dare show you guys? <laughs> So this is my super glamorous outfit. Uh, this is a navy cashmere sweater from Uniqlo. These are navy pants. I'm wearing socks from Roots because I just took my boots off. And in case you're wondering, this is miso soup. <laughs> the bow actually made a miso soup for dinner. So I had some, it was actually pretty good. Uh, but now I'm gonna change because I have to go out, I have to fill up. I'm missing the Raptors game because I forgot that my boss is actually off on Friday and it is Wednesday now. And I forgot to give him a gift for the holidays. So I'm gonna go out to HomeSense and see if I can find something. I don't know what to get him this year. Every year in the past, I've known exactly what to get him, but this year I'm completely stumped. So I'm gonna just go to HomeSense take a quick cruise around. If I don't find anything, I'll just get him something for him when he comes back from holidays. I feel bad doing that, but I honestly forgot. Okay, I'm home and I did not find what I was looking for at HomeSense. So what I did, actually I found a lot of really cute things, so just not a gift for my boss. Um, I ended up getting two picture frames, which I will show you guys. But I ended up going to Costco and picking up um, these movie, Cineplex uh, movie ticket passes uh, because uh, my boss has a son and they like to go see movies. So I did that and a card and also some popcorn. I bought a couple bags of popcorn from HomeSense. I'll show you guys once I probably do my nighttime routine because I want to change into my PJs before I edit today's vlog which will probably be late, so I apologize in advance, I guess, belated for that. So I'm about to do my nighttime skincare routine. I've changed, I'm back in my glossy sweater, and I am going to talk about what I'm going to do today for my skincare because a lot of you um, have DM'd me on my Instagram asking me to share more of my skincare routine, and you guys love to hear about the different products I'm using. So today I am going to use my new Clarisonic. So this is my old Clarisonic. It was the Clarisonic Aria, which I think they renamed to the Clarisonic Mia 3. Uh, but this is a new one, which is the Clarisonic Mia Smart. So now in their lineup, I think they only have two. They have the Clarisonic Mia Smart and then the Clarisonic Mia, which is just one button, one speed, if that's all you need, then that's all you need. This one is smart because you can use the different um, brush heads. You can use any of the brush heads with this. And also, you can sync this to an app on your phone. So I have two gripes about this product. So this was $2.29 regular price. So my one gripe is that out of the box, it comes with a charging stand and the cable is actually attached on the Aria or the Mia 3. The base and the charging mechanism was actually separate. So you could use the base or not use the base to charge the Clarisonic and it was fine. I'm, I'm not sure if the old charger still works on this. I have not tested that out yet. But my Aria or my Mia 3 actually came with a charging brick because right now out of the box the Mia Smart just comes with the charging base, USB, and then that's it. So if you don't already have a charging brick to plug this into to actually charge your device, you're SOL. So I thought that was a really annoying considering this was $229. I did empty out the box and I'm 100% sure it's not in there, but I kind of am second guessing myself now so I might check later. But that is something that's really annoying. So I happen to have tons of these from Apple and then this just happens to be one from uh, a power bank that I bought a couple months ago. But anyway, so I have one, so it's all good. But if you don't have one of these, again, not cool. The second annoying thing about this is that 
This is called Smart because again, you can link it to an app for your phone and it will just help you customize your teens and it has like fun little how-to videos and you can track how many uses you use and all that kind of fun stuff. However, if you are in Canada, you cannot download that app. I'm pretty sure it's US store only. So I did download the app, but I had to go through a bunch of hoops to do it. So I basically started an iTunes account. I've already did this actually, because when we were in California, um, I had to download this app called Axis, A-X-S, to download the tickets for the Clippers game that we went to. And you could only use that app in order to get into the stadium. So I had already done this process, but basically I started a new iTunes account and I linked it to a, not a US address, but you can state which country you're from. So I said US, that is the work around, but you have to go as far as to start a brand new iTunes account and say that you're from the US in order to download the app for this, which is such BS because this, <laughs> even in the box for this, the box that I purchased here in Canada for this item, it was advertising the app and it actually had this little QR code that you could scan and it's supposed to take you to where you can download the app except because we're in Canada we can't download it because it's a US only thing which is so annoying. Anyway all of that aside I've been using this for a week or so now and I have been enjoying it. So the reason I got this is because you can put all the different attachments. I actually already ordered um, the massaging attachment from the bay just today actually so hopefully it arrives um, within a couple of weeks. But in terms of form factor this is obviously slimmer, uh, this is a bit bulkier. You can get this in a bunch of different colorways. I just got the white. It also looks a bit different at the front so there's only one button here but there's lots of different uh, speeds and there's like a daily cleanse, a gentle cleanse, and then the smart feature which again if you have the app you can use it that way. This one has three speeds I think and you can just um, kind of toggle between the speeds using this. I currently have the foundation brush attachment on this because I still want to keep it. I'm actually going to use it for foundation until this brush goes kaput because I did spend $39 on it so I want to get my money's worth. I only use it for cream products though because it's like complete garbage with liquid products at least on me. That's from my experience. It's just not great no matter how little product I use. I just don't feel like it blends well enough but eventually I'll probably use this in the shower actually with a slightly more heavy duty brush head and I'll probably just use it um, on my body. I also learned something with the app and that's you can apparently use the Clarisonic to remove clay masks. So I haven't quite tried that one yet, but I am intrigued. I feel like it's probably the same process as if you dampen a washcloth and use that to wipe your face, but why not multi-purpose? I have a big honking zit on my forehead so we are obviously going to be treating that. We're going to start with a double cleanse as per usual. I'm still using the DHC cleansing oil. I still really like it. I've actually been kind of trying to get into the habit of using a micellar uh, water before I go in with the cleansing oil. It's almost like a three-step cleansing situation because sometimes I'm wearing of heavy duty mascara or eye makeup and I just need that extra help to get that stuff off. So I've been trying to remember to do that but obviously today I forgot. The mascara I'm wearing today actually isn't that hard to remove though. It's the Glossier Lash Slick. The other day I was wearing the Shuamura Lash Petal and that was very difficult to remove. It really depends on my mood and that's how I decide which cleanser to use with my Clarisonic. Today I'm going to use the Clarins Gentle Foaming Cleanser and this is the one with Tamarind and this is supposed to be the one that's better for combination skin which I have. So I usually when I'm using my Clarisonic like to rub the cleanser onto my skin and then I use the Clarisonic over top of it. Sometimes I will put the cleanser directly on the Clarisonic brush. Really just depends on my mood, but I will always, of course, wet the brush head. So I have been using the smart feature on the Clarisonic because again, I work really hard to get the app. So I have been using the Radiant Cleanse. So this is how the app looks. 
so I'm not sure if you can see but it tells you the different um, areas of your face that it recommends cleaning and in what order and how long but you can actually go in and adjust the intensity so it goes from one to four and then the duration so it goes from six seconds all the way to a full minute so I'm currently just using it at the default setting but if you did want to change it up a little you could so that's one thing that I like about the smart Mia is that you can adjust it like that and you don't have to constantly be like pressing the buttons you can just set it the way you like it on the app and then it will be like that every time you use that specific setting on your brush So I finished with the Clarisonic and my double cleanse. Um, on the days that I use my Clarisonic, I don't go in with an exfoliator because the Clarisonic is exfoliation enough. I'm still using my Differin. I feel like I'm almost halfway through this at this point. I might have to order some more. I've been really liking this, but I haven't really noticed a, I guess, significant difference. As you can see, I'm still getting blemishes here or there um, and my acne had started dying down even before I started using the different so while I let the different soak in I am going to brush my teeth I'm going to layer some oils now so I'm starting with the Sunday Riley um, ultra clarifying face oil uh, not super pleased with what's happening with Sunday Riley these days. I don't even know like the full story just because I've been so busy that I haven't been able to like really get into the drama of what's happening in the beauty industry. But I guess um, Sunday Riley is having their staff uh, post fake reviews on their products on different websites, presumably like Sephora. But they're actually encouraging and telling people employees to lie and to um use specific buzzwords about a product and counter different reviews like if somebody says oh this product like made me break out and you'd get a sunday riley employee a secret sunday riley employee because part of their culture is that you don't want to get caught so make sure that you use different vpns and um you use different email addresses and you don't put too many reviews on one account anyway so it'll be like this undercover sunday riley employee who will counter whatever the claim is and say no like this actually never made me break out and it's so lovely so I don't know the products that I've tried from Sunday Riley have worked for me but I won't lie to you I based my buying purchases on those reviews and then I knew that some of them were obviously planted there but to actually hear from former employees about those tactics was really really off-putting because as a consumer which I first and foremost am I base my buying choices on those reviews for instance when i was buying the sunday riley ufo i was reading about whether or not this product worked for people who had breakouts frustratingly enough too actually there was this video of a youtuber that i won't name but they had a video up and part of the reason i bought the sunday riley ufo was because this YouTuber, influencer, whatever, had mentioned it in several times in videos about how it really helped with their acne and it was super great. And then this YouTuber also mentioned the same thing I'm talking about about this brand. So I was reading the comments of that video because honestly the comment section on these bigger YouTube channels is just like the funniest place to be sometimes because people like to go like back and forth and it's just really funny. And I was reading comments and there was one comment I pulled up the comment here. So in the video, this YouTuber was talking about how they weren't gonna buy from Sunday Riley anymore because of their like shady marketing practices. And how old did we lose? I'm not doing today. Mm, I was just getting a quick update on the Raptors game. Um, apparently we're not doing well. So as I was saying, so this YouTuber had made a video and they were talking about how they weren't gonna buy from Sunday Riley anymore because of Sunday Riley's really shady marketing practices. And they also had maybe made a comment about how their skin was breaking out a little. And there's a comment in here that said, you know, is it possible that using those Sunday Riley products actually 
you know, worked really well and that's what made your skin so clear before you stopped using them. And then this influencer replied and said that they were on medication that kept their skin clear so they didn't even need to use the acne stuff from Sunday Riley, which is kind of really frustrating in itself because in those previous videos, they had mentioned that the um, Sunday Riley UFO was really effective. It wasn't so effective that it did, that it completely erased the acne and they, they had to go on some sort of medication, I presume Accutane, but they kept promoting the brand and saying like this product was really great and it was super effective and that you should get it. And then to read a comment that said, oh, well actually I was already on medication that was preventing my acne. So the Sunday Rally is like not great. <laughs> Anyway, I don't know where I was going with this rant. The moral of the story is you have to do your own research. Sometimes you just gotta try a product and you gotta get burned and that's why most places have really good return policies. Just trust but verify. That's something that I learned in school. Trust but verify. So you can trust someone's opinion but also do your own research before you go out and spend your money on anything. I'm going to carry on with my skincare routine now. I'm basically just gonna to top it off with some squalane oil and then spot treat the sucker. What I've been doing is I have been using oils in the evening and then uh, creams in the morning. And I find that that combo has really been helping with keeping my skin hydrated throughout the winter season. So it's been working for me. I'm going to use the Glossier Zit Stick today because I haven't used it in a while. I'm actually almost out of this little tube of, again, it's another benzoyl peroxide product. So with this Glossier Zit Stick, I apply a generous amount. I swirl it all over. I do find that this rollerball is pretty cooling, but I don't know that it's really effective in bringing down the swelling of any zit or pimple that I have. I almost wish this just did come in a tube because then it would probably be easier to apply. It's harder to moderate the amount of product when it's in this kind of packaging. So these were the frames that I picked up from HomeSense for myself. We have kind of a gold frame theme happening, so these are both gold. Uh, this one is really fun in texture. This one kind of reminds me of like a Melanie's loop for some reason. This is a hilarious card that I got for my boss. And then I also got these two cloud horns. Sweet and salty and then just salty. I had to rejig some things because I couldn't find a box to put the popcorn in, so I basically reused this bag, which was supposed to be for one of my girlfriends, and I put her gift in this bag that I think I bought last year. I just never got a chance to use it. And yeah, I managed to fit two of the popcorns in here, and now I'm just going to grab some washi tape to adhere the movie passes to this card and then I'm going to be done. So these are the movie passes that I picked up. So one is a child adventure and then the other one is a great escape, which is for the adults and then this is for obviously a child. And yeah, I'm gonna stick it in this hilarious card, which if you knew my boss, you'd know that this is, I wouldn't say inappropriate, but it's just like not his personality whatsoever and that's kind of what makes it funny. <laughs> 